Hey everyone, I recently got to talking with a few folks about the circular toolpath and wanted to give a quick tip on how it differs from bore and when you might use it. Here I've got two large bores that I've roughed out and need to finish. Using a bore toolpath, as many of us might, I need to specify ramp angle or pitch as the tool will helix down into the bore. There's an option under linking to have the tool lead to center, which is great for smaller holes and helps ensure that I'm not plunging into remaining stock. Taking a look at the stock simulation, I can see that there's a helical toolpath that's cutting with just the very end of the tool. And while this will keep loads low, it will likely wear the tip of the tool much more quickly than the rest of the flute length. In the circular toolpath, rather than a helix, there are distinct Z height passes, so there is no helical motion. In the passes tab, the step down is controlled with a step down parameter, and there's a use even step downs checkbox to prevent awkward passes that are significantly smaller than intended. Again, in the linking tab, there's an option to lead to center. Looking again at the stock simulation, we essentially get a 2D contour toolpath that spreads wear more evenly along the tool and is smart enough to lead to the center of the bore for safer entry and exit moves, especially in smaller holes where there's less clearance between the entry position and the remaining stock. Now let's take a look at the code. While there's not a huge difference here, there is less code for the circular toolpath. So for older machines where every line of code matters, circular is a great option to limit total code length while spreading tool wear along the tool with safe entry and exit moves. As always, please give this video a like if it was helpful and let me know what you think in the comments. Until next time.